<clears throat> Shalom, Shalom, Israel. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I'm going to give all honor and glory and praise, first and foremost, to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushah, Bashim, Kakudash. I'm the brother Tazim Makamad, coming from the camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth and well. Peace and citation to the hopeful elect that scatter abroad. And we have an article right here from the Daily Hoodle. And it says, U.S. government may freeze American bank withdrawals as currency panic and capital flight mounts. Macro guru Hugh Hendry. All right. And, you know, they say that America may run out of money June 1st. Okay. And that's only a couple weeks. At, that's only a couple weeks away. And in July, they want to use Fed now. man. So, hey, nothing new. And nothing is uh going away against prophecy. Let's actually grab uh, this first scripture. Habakkuk 2. Right. This is Habakkuk 2 and 3. And it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Okay. Oh. So the vision is yet for an appointed time. Okay, this is all leading up to the main prophecy that's going to happen in Revelation 13, which is the MOTB. If you don't know what the MOTB is, it is the RFID C hip that they want to implant on all the people for a world um world currency. Okay. And if you take that, you will be destroyed by Yahweh Shemel Shai. You cannot repent. All right. But this is all leading up to prophecy. See, Esau likes to deal with gradualism. Okay. Gradualism and predictive programming. You see these on the movies. You see these on the TV shows. But now it's happening in reality. Okay. And these people that hold on to their money, that stack up all their money and worship money, you're going to have a rude awakening, man. Okay? Because now it's about what you invest your time in. Okay? What do you invest your time in? What what are you what are you doing to get closer to your Lord? Because when all hell break loose, you're not going to be going to the prophets to the prophets. You're not going to be going seeking for answers. Okay? And you're going to be going seeking for answers, and you're not going to find this. You're not going to find the answers you're looking for. You're not going to be on YouTube. Okay? So when U.S. government may freeze American bank withdrawals, that's currency panic. Because every, when the economy goes to collapse, everybody's going to want to pull out their money. But then that's when they're going to switch over to digital currency, man. Okay? Like you see in Nigeria. Okay? In different parts of the world. So when the U.S. government freezing your American bank, they all want to set up one world bank, one world location. Okay, so let's read this again. This is Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision, the prophecy, is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Okay. This prophecy is not going to lie. It's going to ultimately come to pass. Okay? And it's happening now, right in your face. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay? This prophecy is not going to let up anymore, man, because Esau has an appointed time. This is Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, Thou has appointed his bounds that he could not pass. So the Lord gave this man, you know, a rulership. But his rulership was only set for an appointed time. Okay. His rulership was only set for an appointed time. Okay. And with all the, with all these things happening... He knows that the Lord is about to make his return very soon. Okay? 
when you get Revelation 12 and 12, and it says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Okay? They know they have a short time. They know they know things are happening, man. This is part, all part of the elite's program. Okay? This is all part of their agenda that they want to accomplish. And yet, they knowing that they have a short time, they have to speed it up. They have to speed it up, and they want to ultimately, you know, um, fulfill their NWO. <laughs> Alright, so let's read a little bit of this article. Henry says a further decline in the M2 money supply, which in part tracks money in liquid checking accounts, could convince the U.S. government to step in and prevent citizens from taking their capital out of their banking system. All right. Let's actually get to the like the meat of this uh, article. All right. Henry says. The capital flight from the U.S. banks is not solely about fears on whether the FDIC will ensure deposits above um, $250,000 and the blanket guarantee on deposits would not solve the problem. There is capital flight, deposit flight from the banking sector seeking yield. I fear that, I don't say this lightly, but in 1934, the Federal Reserve Act confiscated gold from U.S. citizens. Okay, and that's when they switched over gold to pay for money. Okay, gold shall no longer be um, traded. Right, and it says we're at the point where the Fed and Treasury officials, I'm sure, are having are having to consider a gate, a lock on U.S. bank deposits. When it comes to where Americans can place their capital amid the uncertainty, Hendry says his go-to is U.S. Treasuries and potential, potentially Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. See, they want to transition to everything digital. All right. It's time to own the most reviled security in the universe. The ultra-long treasuries, I know you will think all we got in the inflation problem. It was a supply shock. And a supply shock needs that manifestation of more and more bank printing. Of loans to propel it into the into the future, we are getting the opposite. The ultra longs are trading two or three standard deviations below the ETF. All right. So the main point is, you know, people are getting scared, and the U.S. government is going to freeze people's accounts, man. When people accounts go crazy and freezes, they're gonna they're gonna have a riot, man. So when you go to uh, Second Ezra's, the fifteen chapter, let's see. All right, Second Ezra's fifteen and sixteen. Well, we can start at fifteen. It says, for the sword and destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. And this is going to be, you know, race wars, civil war, all in America, man. The bloodiest war wasn't fought in America, all right? And that was a civil war. Hey, it's going to be the, it's going to be a 2.0 of that. Everything is going to be 2.0 in America. Verse 16 says, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Okay? You, people are going to be super, super mad, man. Okay? They're going to be going to their government. They're going to go to the Capitol building. They're going to go to the White House. They're going to riot, man. They're going to get crazy out here. All right? Because guess what? People want answers. Oh, why is my money? Why can't I take out my money? Okay, the people are gonna be doing that, and guess what? They're gonna be killing each other and starting riots. 
All right. Verse 18. For because of the pride of the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay. Guess what? People are going to be looting, man. All right. I can't buy nothing. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go rob people. I'm going to go in their house. I'm going to take their spoils. Verse 19. And many, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the horses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. And this is all part of Esau's plan. All right. Order ab chaos. All right. They, they, they plan the chaos. They establish the chaos and they establish order. All right. And with order... They're going to bring Isaiah 31 or 30. Let me see Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children. All right. The Lord is talking to us Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Woe unto you. You're rebellious because the Lord warns you. The Lord told you. Says, Saith Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me. Okay. See, we are here counseling, we're telling you, we're warning you, but you don't hear us. You hear the news, you hear Fox News, you hear CNN, you hear BBC news, man. Okay? And it says, and that take cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Because our people take covering with the spirit of America, what the government tells you, what the government brings, what Esau tells you. And it says that they may add sin to sin because, hey, this devil is just going to add you. This is going to make you get worse and worse. Verse 2, that walk down, that, the, it's like it says, that walk to go down into Egypt. All right. See, America is spiritually Egypt. All right. When you read Revelation 11 and 8, it says, and I have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. All right. You're. Your modern day Pharaoh will be your president. And it says, and so trust in the shadow of Egypt. And guess what? 2024 is coming up. The election is coming up. And guess what? Trump is trying to come back into office. All right. And he's going to get that ball rolling, man. He wants firing squads. He wants guillotines. Hey, spiritually, that man is narrow, man. And Lord willing, he come, he come into into the office, man, to get this ball rolling, to get it cracking. Because, hey, the faster that happens, the faster we can get out. He's going to push that MOTB. <laughs> Verse 3, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your strength, be your shame. All right? Because you're going to be asking questions. Why I can't withdraw my money? Why I can't do this? Why I can't do that? And then the U.S. government is going to be like, oh, well, if you want if you want your money, if you want to have withdrawals in money, you must get the MOTB. You must get this digital currency and plan it in your hand to be able to to be able to make withdrawals and deposits. And guess what? You're gonna go down to Egypt for help. They're gonna tell you they're gonna you're gonna stick your hand out, you're gonna get this little uh grain of rice in your hand, and you're gonna be destroyed, man. Alright? You're gonna have uh grievous sores and you're gonna be waiting for the nukes to come destroy you, man. It says, and therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Right. You're going to be ashamed. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. All right. You trusting in Egypt, you're going to be confused, man. Because guess what? You're going to see people, all right, like the men of the Lord eating and they do not have this sea hip, man. Because we did not bow down to this N-W-O. Okay. <laughs> Since I mentioned the um, RFID, let's get Revelation 13. Revelation 13 and 15. And it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast will be the NWO, right? And the image of the beast shall both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay, now in Romans, um, it tells you how there's going to be 7,000, let's actually grab it, let's see, Romans, Romans, I believe, 11, let's grab it, 
so, so I don't have to quote it, just grab it for edification. Let's go. All right, this is Romans 11 and 4. And it says, But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have, re I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. 7,000, 7 going to completion. All right. So a complete number of men, the elect, who have not bowed to the knee to the image of Baal. All right. These people that, that bow down their they're bowed down the knee to Baal, they're worshiping their system. This B system. You know, getting the RFID, getting that digital all into their hand to be a servant to Esau and Satan. All right, but it's going to be a complete number of men of the elect that's not going to bow down to it. Okay, and they'd rather get killed for the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Verse 5, even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Okay, and the Lord's coming back for that remnant, which is a small number, 144,000 prophets and the men, woman, and child, the elect. Okay, so when you go back, verse 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, and this is something they want to implant in you. This is all leading up. To the NWO of Esau, RFID, MOTB, Revelation 13, right? And it says, and that no man might buy or sell, right? No man might buy or sell, save he that had the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And this number of name is 666, man. All right, so they want to make you a barcode. And put this uh, RFID inside of you. So you'll be able to buy. You'll be able to sell. You'll be able to make deposits. Make, able to make withdrawals. All that. To make life easier for you. Alright. Let's actually grab this. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right, and Esau's gonna push this peace and safety, man. All right, hey, it's okay. It's okay. We find a solution. You can't get your withdrawal. We have a solution. Get a get the RFID. Get the RFID. It will help. It will help. We make everything digital. Make things easier, right? But what it says, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. That shall veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So it's going to be utter hell breaking loose on this earth once this comes to pass. And we're waiting for this prophecy to come to pass, man. All right. So let's go to um, the book of Job. Let's see. Let's start the 18th chapter. All right. This is Job 18 and 5, right? It says, yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Okay? See, this wicked only has a certain, his candle is getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Okay? As the days prolong, this thing is getting closer for the Lord to come back and enter the scene. Right? His fire shall not shine. Okay? And, the, and this wicked, wicked elite, they're always about the light. All right, you see the Statue of Liberty holding the holding the, uh, the the torch. All right, they're all about the light. Yet their light is dimming; it's going away because their rulership, their power, is is going away. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, okay. And his uh and his candle shall be put out with him. All right, the steps of his strength shall be straightened. And his own counsel shall cast him down. For he is cast into a net by his own feet. And he walketh upon a snare or trap. And the Lord ended up trapping him up, man. The Lord ended up trapping this man up. Um, let's see. Damn, this is heavy. 
Let's see. It says, verse 9, the jinn shall make him shall take him by the heel, and the robbers shall prevail against him. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. The Lord's gonna end up trap, trapping this man and robbing him of everything he got. Right? Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. These nukes gonna be hitting this man, right? It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. Okay, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and shall bring him to the king of terrors, which is Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It shall dwell in his tabernacle. Because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. The nukes. The nuclear fire. Alright. His root shall be dried up beneath. And above shall his branch be cut off. His remembrance shall perish from the earth. And he shall have no name in the street. Nobody's going to know who is Esau. Uh, oh, the scripture says, um, is this the man that maketh the earth to tremble? Hey, because guess what? He's going to be humbly, he's going to be super humble. All right? You're going to be looking at Esau like, is this the man that made the earth to tremble? All right? He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. So all, all of Esau is going to be destroyed. So let's go to... Uh, Go to the 20th chapter. And that's the main point right here. Job 20 and 5, it says, It says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Alright, because they have a short time. It says, Though his excellency, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach on to the clouds, this pride. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They wish I have seen him. Where is he? Alright. He's going to be destroyed. He's going to be taken off the face of the earth and put in chains. He shall fly away as a dream. and shall not be found. Yet he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye which, shall, the eye which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. going to be no more America, man. All right, let's get to the point. Um, verse fifteen. He sh he have swallowed down riches. He shall he shall vomit them up again. All right, because he took everything by violence. Okay. It says God shall cast them out of his belly. Right. He's gonna destroy him and take all the all his spoils, all his riches, because everything he got he got about violence, murder, and rape. Right? He shall suck the poison of asp, the viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers of the floods of the brooks of honey and butter. Right? No more delicacy, man. No more spoils. No more no more uh smooth things. Okay. Let's see. Let's get to the point. Verse 22. In the fullness of insufficiency, he shall be in straits, in difficult position. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. While he thinks he's going to fulfill his NWO, the Lord is going to destroy him with the nuclear missiles. Alright, and these elites are going to hide in these bunkers, but the elect is going to... It's going to take him out. He shall flee from the iron weapon. And the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and coming out of the body. Yet yeah, the glittering sword coming out of, the, out of his gal. Terrors are upon him. Okay. Hey, so this this devil. He think he's going to. He think he's going to have his. His agenda fulfilled. Nope. The Lord's going to destroy it and take it off, man. All right. So this is all part of that main agenda that the Lord is coming with. Alright? 
the Lord put the spirit on these devils to do this, to do this, and to push their agenda, the NWO, so the Lord could show His power and destroy this devil, and put Yahusha on top with the elect, man. And this is what's coming, the MOTB. All right, this is all the gradualism, a step closer to the MOTB, man. So, Lord, when it's us and been edifying, we give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Kakudash. It's next time I say Shalom.